one more time. Watch how slow I am between switching. If you'll notice on that one, I often made, I made the majority of my mistakes when I was switching too. And sometimes I was going on autopilot and I got lucky that when I actually switched, it didn't cost me. So you can see with through those task switches that I often paid the price of making a mistake whenever I switched tasks. So when I went from top to bottom or bottom to top, I hit a tab, I hit the wrong button because I was still, my brain was trying to cheat and stay on the same one. And so if it popped up two that were both yes, I would get that right sometimes even as I was trying to switch. So you can see my brain was cheating and trying to apply the rules of the same as the game I did below it was trying to apply that to above. Now imagine doing that in what you're doing. So if you're trying to write something on your blog, but then you hop over onto Facebook for a minute, sometimes your brain's still going to be putting things in a different context, so you're liable to make mistakes. Then when you go back to your blog post, you're going to be like, all right, what the hell was I doing? You're liable to make another mistake there or write something out of context. Then out of frustration, you might go watch a video on YouTube for a minute so then whenever you go to watch that video on YouTube, you come back to your whatever you're writing, then you make another mistake and you're like, all right, you know what, I can't stand writing this right now. I'm just going to go talk to someone on Facebook. So then you've spent an hour going back and forth, you've hardly written anything, you're frustrated, and you're thinking, what did I do wrong? And the only thing you did wrong was this. Facebook and YouTube, those are the only things you did wrong if you just sit here and force yourself to not do anything else. It's really surprisingly easy because when your brain has nowhere to go, it will go somewhere. So if you're just sitting in this one window out of almost sheer boredom or anything else, you will do something. I noticed when I used to write things for school, it was really easy to sit at my desk and just write something out because I didn't have anything else to do as long as I didn't get to daydreaming or something. But when I got on the computer, there were so many distractions that a momentary annoyance would cause me to go do something else. So let me give you an example. So let's say I'm writing that blog post and I get to a point where I'm not sure what to write. My brain is a logical thing. When I hit a pain point, my brain says, okay, you want to avoid that. So I often will almost automatically click out and start screwing around with something else. I'll go check my email or I'll do something else. I've caught myself doing this and I was shocked. I didn't even realize that was happening. So now whenever I switch, I try and pay attention. Like what did I just do? Why did I do that? And often it will be something some kind of minor pain point. And this happens a lot via email. I'll get an email, I'll start writing, I'll be like, you know, yes, blah, 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 blah. And then I'll have trouble making a response and all of a sudden I'll find myself minimized out. I'll find myself over on YouTube looking at my channel or something before I even knew what happened. My brain will switch tasks to try and get out of an unpleasant situation almost without being asked to. And so now what I have to do is like, no, go back, 
finish this email and get it sent before I do anything else. Have you ever been stuck seemingly writing an email response for a ridiculous amount of time? That's what happens. You get to a point in the email you're not sure about. You end up avoiding finishing it and doing something else, whether it's work or screwing around. You end up doing something else to avoid that painful task. But I find if I just muddle through it as best I can, even if the email's not perfect, and just send it, then that thing's clear. Now I can close that out and it's done. Now I can focus completely on doing something else and my brain is free of that task. And that's helped me fantastically speed up my email. Email was the number one worst area of productivity for me in my business for one and a half years. The amount of time and energy I spent emailing was one of the worst returns I got because as you can see now, I look at the sheer amount of things. These are all 2,000-ish word blog posts. Look at how many of them there are on my website. I mean, that's since August 1st, there's 50 new 2,000 word blog posts on my website. All right, technically there's one here from earlier. That is a ridiculous amount of writing I have on my website. I used to do a lot more of my writing via email and no one benefited from it. Once I realized how much time and energy I was wasting simply going on doing what I thought I was supposed to do by putting these full length responses to email, I realized, damn, if I wrote all this stuff out and put it on my website and then just told people when they email me, look, go read my website. I can do anything for you I've listed and talked about on my website. If you're not willing to spend time reading over my website, then I sure as hell don't want to work with you as a client unless you're willing to just pay a lot up front and trust me to do whatever you need done. The idea is I can be fantastically productive and I am fantastically productive when I do one thing at a time and I build a system around doing it. What I do now is I make videos first. Oh, and if you just thought this was blog posts, here's another thing. Here's my YouTube channel. Look how many videos I've put out recently. Lots of these videos are 20, 30 minutes, an hour long, and most all of them are unique. Like they're not remixed versions of other videos. Most all of these are unique videos. And look how long these are. I mean, that's a two hour Call of Duty one, but this is a Facebook ads tutorial, almost an hour, brand new, 50 minute ODES posting tutorial. 20 minute Twitter one, a Facebook dark post one, a Patreon review, another Twitter tutorial, LinkedIn profile, a what to do if you're desperate money tips. I mean, the sheer amount I do is absurd now. And the only reason is that I focus on doing one thing at a time and then I build a system around supporting that. You can see I didn't used to be this productive. A lot of these videos, if you go back farther than six months, you'll find I, because six months is when I've kicked a lot of my new productivity in, you'll find mostly just video gaming videos. But you'll find before I did a lot less videos. So you can see I hardly put out any videos before I started doing this. And a lot of them, these are kind of ridiculous dating videos I did. But you'll see I hardly put out any videos before this new system of productivity. And the same thing on my website. Before this year when I implemented this new productivity system, I didn't put out that much content because I spent all my time emailing and I spent all my time switching between tasks. This new productivity system has given me an unbelievable amount of productivity. Take this in for a moment, 50 2,000 word blog posts in the last six months. 50, that's 100 
thousand words. That's two books written. You, you might say at this point, well, how do authors like Stephen King and that put out so many books, this is how they do it. They sit there and write their book a little bit every day and they don't do anything but write their book. You can do an amazing amount when you focus on one thing at a time and build a system around supporting that. That's what I have now. And if you're working online, it's absolutely critical you get this down. If you're working for a company, you can apply these to be a stellar employee. But your progress is still limited by all of the other things that go on in a company, such as company politics or your exact job you got in or how the company's doing. There's a lot of factors not related to you that determine your success. If you're working online like I am, my productivity is the bottom line determiner of my success. When I write all these blog posts, Google is then sending more people every month to my website than the month before. I'm getting more followers on social media every month. I'm continually building in relation to these two things, the YouTube videos I make and the posts I make on my website and also my Facebook and uh, online, my 10,000 a month online entrepreneurship course. So on Udemy. So these are three places where how well I do is completely based on my productivity. If I'm doing a bunch of task switching, if I'm playing this game all day, I can literally feel like I'm doing everything and actually be doing nothing. But what I've shown you gives you the ability to close out these other windows. Sit there and do one thing at a time. Get it done and do something else. I hope this has been helpful because I want you to have the same opportunity to be fantastically productive that I've worked really hard to get to. I've worked really hard to get to a place where I'm fantastically productive. If you want to be in a place where you're fantastically productive, it's easy to do. Close all those other windows, work in one window at a time, and deal with that window. Don't avoid the painful things to do in it. Do them and move on. Thank you for sharing this with me. Thank you for spending this time with me. I hope this has been valuable, and I hope you will learn more about what I'm doing that helps you on my website at jerrybanfield.com. There you can find everything you need to be successful online.